a poet, probably a woman, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> that God didn't just put the rainbow in the sky, God put the rainbow in the clouds, in the clouds themselves, which meant that in the worst of times, in the meanest of times, in the dreariest and most unpromising times, there's a way that people can see a possibility of hope. And so the rainbow is not just put in the sky, but in the clouds themselves. And when I knew I was coming back to Norfolk, you all don't remember that I was here. <laughs> I was here some years ago. You were very kind to remember, some of you don't. But never mind. <laughs> but I thought then of Norfolk, Virginia. I thought of Virginia itself as a rainbow in the clouds. I know that the first Africans were brought to what was to become the United States in 1619. They were brought to Virginia. Indeed. I know that uh, 1619, I don't mean to cast a person, a person on my white brothers and sisters and my nephews and nieces in the audience, but uh, 1619 was one year before the Mayflower died. Woo <laughs> I don't mean to cast this person, but you know, uh, we had undergone experiences too bizarre to have been included in Alice Hayden's phenomenon, the book roots, or in the television phenomenon roots, in which I played Kunta Kinta's grandmother. <laughs> and yet here we are, still here. Amazingly. I mean, after legislation.